Huh? Do you want to say something to me? Yes, Dad. Have you for once thought of having a mother? Not really, Dad. Because you've been taking very good care of me. So, my mind never gets the opportunity to think such. So, if I decide to get married, what would be your reaction? Dad, you don't... You must not always think about my decisions and happiness. But yours as well. If you want to marry someday, you go on. I will gladly accept her into my life as my mother. But she must be a very good woman. Your understanding is way past your age. Anything for the best dad ever. I love you, Kiki. And you know how much I love you too. I am in love with your boss. <laughs> Raymond, do you realize what you just said? Yes. I am in love with her. That's why I called you. I need to know her more. Okay. No, no, no. That's not possible. I can't disclose any information about my boss to anyone. Not when I'm the general manager of her company. You don't expect me to do that. I don't understand. Because it is her decision, not mine. What do you mean by her decision, not yours? Okay, so some time ago, she placed a restriction on us never to disclose any information about her to anyone and anyone includes you but why like i said earlier on she's in the best position to answer that question but for now her orders is my command my friend she introduced herself to me as mrs chantal not miss she did is she married? Okay, so that's the only information you're privileged to get from me. She's very single. Not married at all. But any other question, I'm afraid she will have to tell you herself. No. Why the missus? Why the missus? I don't know. Maybe she's probably trying to... <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Ruben, I called you here because I need your help. How do I go about this? Where do I start from? I need to know everything about Chantel. I need to know her. Mm, so let's just say you can actually start by putting a call across to her and nicely ask her out on a date. Really? <laughs> that sounds crazy. Just like that? <laughs> Just like that. Just give it a try. I never can tell. <laughs> Sorry. My phone. Aha! Aha! Talking about the boss lady. She's Hello, madam. 
a good day. Yes, I'm at the office. We are mates. Yeah, madam, I was just about to ask if it is convenient for you to face a schedule later this evening. Maybe over the dinner so we can do like, sort out some clause here on this document. Because the contract has a lot of clause we need to correct. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Oh, fine. That will be perfect. All right, ma'am. See you then. Bye bye. So, my friend, like I was saying, just um, try your best. Just anyhow, give it a try. Just shoot your shot. All right? Yeah. Okay, now you called me. Yes, I did. I wanted you to prepare fried rice, but that won't be necessary anymore because I'll be going out. I have a date by four, and I need you to come along with me. Okay. Yes, please. Um, so let's just go up, okay? Okay. Wow. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Welcome. How was today? Yes, Hi. son. At school? How are you? Back up, son. Thank you. Mm. So, back we are home now. So, what is it you said you want to tell me about? What was that? What did he promise to say? <sighs> son? I'm listening. It's okay. I know this might come as a shock to both of you. But I have thought of it and I have taken a decision. So, what is it that my son has decided on? So, could I have questions? Just saying. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> I have found Someone I wish I mean to get married. Oh my god, oh my god, this is so good. I have waited for this good news for a long time. As a matter of fact, what we're going out for dinner. Whoa, this is good. You come here. Come Give me a hug. Come here. That's my son. Wow, I'm so proud of you. Dude, I like it. Kihara. Go after her. Kihara. Kiara! 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 Ki she? Mom, she's not here. Where could she be? My room? Your room? Uh, Kiara! Kiara! Kiki, I am I am sorry I didn't mean to get you upset. 
please forgive your dad dad this is the best outfit you will need for your first date with my soon to be mom i thought you were angry why will i when you have a few one of my greatest wish Oh, Kiki, you're getting your dad and I confused here. I know, Grandma. Dad, every time my fellow classmates in school talk about the boat stories, I feel so bad. Come here, Grandma. Mm. Mm. Italian. You know, other kids wouldn't want their dad to get married again. But my kinky didn't consider all of that. Instead, she chose to bring out this amazing outfit for you to go on your first date for this woman. I am proud to have you as my daughter. Come here. Mm. <laughs> Thank you very much, Kiki. You're welcome. <laughs> For how long has this been going on? Yes, Dad. For how long? Am I not right? You are hundred percent right, granddaughter. So, um, okay, I, I, I mean, we. Son, Dad. Uh, uh, oh yes, you see, I. She she came to the office the other day and I saw her, so since then she's been in my head. Mom, do you understand? Uh, yes, uh, yes. So, uh, she's been in my head and I have been thinking about her and I had to call her general manager and he said we can go on a date. So, I called her, she accepted and today is the D-Day. So, Dad. What? Please. Wow, Mom, you look so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so... Do you think my dates will like my outfits? Of course, Mom, he will, for sure. Sure? Yes, Mom. Okay. If my son says so, then it's true. Okay, we have to run along now. Um. You stay with Auntie Blessing while okay. I go with Susan, okay? Okay, Mom. Good luck. Are you sure you'll be fine? Yes, Mom. I'll be fine. I'm a big boy. I can take care of myself. <clears throat> My big boy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Yes. Come, come, come.
remove the car key. You're looking astonishingly beautiful. Thank you. Good day, sir. Good day, ma. Oh. Yes. Oh, don't worry. Okay. Okay. Excuse us. Tell me more about yourself. Okay. Before we talk about me, Mr. Ruben told me you were once married, but both of you have parted ways. If you don't mind me asking, what happened? Okay. You see, my father was still alive when I got married to my ex-wife. My father was a manager in an oil company. But I never knew she got married to me because of my father's wealth. So, just a month after my father's retirement, he died. Mm -hmm. 
my mother and I sold almost everything to pay off some debts and uh, give him a befitting bear. When all these were, were going on, I lost my job. It was as if we went back to square one. So, just then, my wife began to show us her real color. Shut up your mouth. Can't you me? Shut up and eat your food. Nonsense. Anastasia, did you see us walk in? Obviously I did. So what do you want me to do? Jump up and start dancing because I saw you walk in? Nonsense. Do you realize you're talking to me? It's okay, sir. Okay. Um, I am finished. I hope we still have some rice left in the pot for us to eat. Oh yes, of course we do. <laughs> I wouldn't let you starve. There's food in the kitchen, but please, you have to serve yourself and your son because, as you see, I'm already eating. Don't worry about that. I'll do that. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> so get yourself seated. Right, yeah. Sit down, please. Let her bring food. <laughs> Alright, sit down. <clears throat> and you you have really changed. Did you see the way you were talking to my mother? Knowing full well she's now your age mate. Hmm. She's not my age mate, right? But I am not her mate. You see, I have money and she doesn't. Besides, poor people do not deserve respect. Yes. Mm. Oh. What is this for? Why? 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 Why would you ask me to take food from? And already washed pot. <gasps> what? No, I'm I'm sincerely shocked. <laughs> I, I had no idea there was no food in the pot. Are you are you sure? Did you check well? Oh, um let me confirm if there's still some food in the pot. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Will you get us on that place and follow me? One minute, let me check. Again, Bia, leave me alone. No. I am sorry I woke you up. <sighs> I want to have a word with you. Raymond, Raymond, what is that? 
thing you want to say that cannot wait till morning. That you have to disturb my peaceful sleep. What is it? I want Anne back. Oh. I'm not this woman I'm living with right now. What? What is that even supposed to mean? The woman I got married to was... was caring. <laughs> loving. And above all, a, a pacemaker. Mm. That is the woman I want back. Yeah. And please. Look at yourself. Look at yourself. Do you know, I have always known that you are a senseless man. But as of right now, I am convinced that you are also mad. Are you out of your mind? Did you just call me a madman? Yes, I did. I did. What will you do? I said you are mad. And I said you are senseless. Look at you now. You and your mother, you both are broke and jobless. And you want to depend on my small, the little money I'm making for my work. You want to depend on it to feed yourselves. You both are liars. You are liars, oh, because it will not work. Do you understand? It will not work. You both are idiots. The next thing now, you start looking for properties up and down that you will carry, steal and sell. It's not going to happen. You both are mad, useless wreck. Raymond, Raymond, don't you ever try this again. Are you mad? I am feeding you, you are trying to hit me. You are mad, though. You are very, 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 very freaking mad. Idiot. Eat the bed, as I cannot have peace. I cannot have peace in this house. Raymond, eat the bed. So this old woman, opened her son's bum bum at midnight and started flogging him. <laughs> she flogged him so hard. Hey! That the next day, he could not sit with his bum bum again. And each time he wants to sit with his bum bum to steal, he will not. He will remember the flogging. will not steal again. Exactly. Hmm. The mother flogged him all. Hey, Mom, you're back. Hey, welcome. Welcome. Is this my detergent? Yes. Did you ask my permission before using it? No, I did not. Because you're my daughter. And whatever is yours is mine. Do I look like your daughter? Look at this. Broke, senseless, useless waste of space. Do I look like your daughter? I am talking, you are still watching drop that thing. Mom! What? Is this so what is it? What is it? Look at her. Like father, like daughter. And you, you! The next time, the next time I am speaking and you open that your rough mouth to talk to me. <laughs> And you, you see this my detergent, eh? I don't care if it's five naira on you use. You are going to pay for it. You are not mad. You are um, not mad in Jesus' name. Um, what is it? What is it? I thought you had something to say. Oh, you do not have anything to say. So you are as useless as your mother. <laughs> uh, rubbish. Hi, hey, son. Have you lost your manners? Don't forget your morals. Your morals, the one your late father taught you, never to raise your hand on a woman no matter what. Please. Let it go. I'm fine. I'm fine. I thought you wanted to beat me. So your father thought you morals. Oh, alas! Your late father is not as useless as you are. Nonsense. Thank God you saved your son today. Useless. But... <laughs> 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 
my face. It's okay. It's okay. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm so sorry. No, 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 don't talk. I'm okay. I'm okay. Everything is fine. We'll be fine, okay? What's up? What's going on? Party! Uh uh, you know I love parties now. You know, you know I love parties. And you're just telling me now. You don't try, you, you don't try. Okay, okay. I'll be ready in 30 minutes. Come and pick me up. See ya. You want to attend the party without telling me? Without my permission. So, please calm down. Uh, uh. Uh, Raymond, did you hear someone say something? Or was that my imagination? I could swear I heard something. Stop fooling yourself. So I've become too small to you, right? Party. You are not attending any party. Did you hear me? Son. Yes, sir. You're not going to do this. You will do it. Have you forgotten who you are? Are you not ready for this? Mom, she's not leaving this house. She's not going anywhere. Don't tell me to come down. Eh? Enough is enough. Hmm. Yes, go and sit down, son. Mom, she's not going anywhere. Sit your ass down. She's not leaving this house. Give <laughs> me reason. Wow. Mm. Life is good. Life is good when you have money. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm. Do not leave this house unless I come out! You can do nothing!
This is past 1 a.m. and my wife is not back. It's okay, son. We all know it's bound to happen. And don't forget, she went to a party. Someone just dropped you off. Who is that? Why? Why, why is he shouting? <laughs> Bro, I, I don't understand all this drama. I, I don't understand all this drama. No. 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 Let her be. Mom. Please. 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 Let her be. Sit down, please. Please, just sit. Yeah, you need some money. Yes. My dear, unfortunately, I cannot be feeding you and paying your school fees at the same time. Eh, I'm only one head I get. Mm -hmm. So, you have to wait for your father or for him to gather money and now give you your school fees. Mm -hmm. You want to go? Please, I, don't, I want to go back to school. Kihara, I don't have money. Eh, I don't have money. Yeah. I've been taking money for money because I need to go back to school. But to say that I should wait for you to make money. I'll go back to school. As long as there is life. Okay. Okay. Mm.
Baby, yes, I miss you too. Yes, yeah, sure, baby. Yes, yeah, sure. Yeah, baby, of course. <sighs> Do I have your time? Useless man! Useless household! Your entire family, everybody! Everybody is useless! You want to put me inside sofa? It's not me you put in sofa! Nonsense! Nonsense! Nonsense. Ah, that. Ah. Let me get the other bag. Someone must have done wrong to you. I apologize on his behalf. Forgive him. Forgive all of us. And stay. Oh? Stay. Kara, I have to leave. Do you understand? Okay. Let me explain to you. Let me let you understand why I have to leave and why you should be very careful of the kind of man you pick to spend the rest of your life with. Now listen. You see this man? This man is useless. This man is so useless that he cannot afford to pay your school fees. And that is why you have not been going to school. This man cannot buy you 50. Do you know what is 50 naira? 50 naira akamu. He cannot buy for you. So now what do you want me to call that? A father? A man? 
or a husband. I cannot call him any of that. Do you understand? Now let me tell you something here. Eh? I have to leave so that he will have the balls to get up as a man and get out and find a job so that he can feed his useless mother and you. Do you understand? That is where I'm going. I'm encouraging him. Anna. I have heard all that you said. But I want to tell you this. I am ready to do anything to make you stay. Go and make money. Make money. I am ready to tolerate you. Support you. I am ready to stand by you <laughs> if that will make you stay. <laughs> you know, I am still wondering why you didn't look at your daughter, I mean our daughter, before making this decision. If you think you can, you can stay without us, fine. We can leave. No, she can't. <laughs> but I need you to know this. I love you. Uh -huh. <laughs> I really love you and I really wish I could I could make you stay. Please. What's, what's, what's this? Yes, 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 yes. We love you. We want you to stay. Because just look at your baby. Look at your daughter. I'm too old to take care of her. You are the one that will take care of your daughter. Hey, look at you. Look at your son. Look at how shameless you both are. Look at what your son is doing. Instead of him to get up and go and look for money. Look at how he's embarrassing you. Are you not ashamed? No, I'm not. No, you should be. He loves you. You should be ashamed. He loves, he loves you. Huh? She left my daughter and I. But has got me have it. One day, one lucky day, my mother got a visit that changed our lives. Good day, ma'am. Good day, ma'am. Yeah, thank you. Is this the residence of Mrs. Johnson? Yes, I am Mrs. Johnson. I hope everything is okay. Of course, ma'am, everything is fine. We just uh, have this from our company. In here, it's, uh, there's a check of 500 million naira. Also, with a housing document cited in uh, Tafara Balewa Avenue. It's for you, ma'am. No. Um, look for. I, I don't understand anything here. Maybe you, you meant to go to the next house. Ma, you said you are Mrs. Johnson, right? Yes. Okay, this is actually for you. I'm um, in the right place. This is actually from your late husband's gratuity ah! pension. Yes, Mama. 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 
What did you do to my mother? We didn't do anything. We didn't do anything. Mama! Mama! Mother! Nothing, actually, nothing. And that was how God showed up. Today we have our company active and running. And we are leaving. What about your wife? She never returned after she left with that unknown man. Enough of me. What's your story? One faithful day, my husband, son, and I decided to go on the weekend getaway.
Uh, come on, babe. I really enjoyed everything. Like, you guys, the best gift I had. Like, I never thought of this day, but I'm really grateful. Um, Gary, yes. I'm proud of you guys, okay? Yes. I love you. I love, love you, too. you so much. I think I, I'm saying very thank you, too, baby. Hey! <gasps> 